Hey guys, it's Jay, and I just got done re finishing the slide edge. I've been working on this book for like probably two and a half weeks now. I could get through about 10 pages of a time because I, I, I forced myself to read 10 pages. But I've been taking a lot of notes because this book has been amazing. Like this book is applicable to anybody, uh, whatever, whatever time frame in your life that, that you're in, it's applicable immediately. And for the most part, it basically just talks about habits the compounding f effects of habits, both positive and negative, kind of very similar hand in hand to the compound effect. And something that I just read that I just spent the um, last half hour or so taking notes on, it, it talks about uh, Pareto's rule, also known as the 80-20 rule. And basically what it talks about is, and I, and I remember this as a recruiter, uh, in sales, 80% of, of production comes from 20% of the force. So basically 20% of the workforce is doing 80% of the work or bringing home 80% of the, the, the profits. And it also talked about how 80% of what, let me back up, I'm screwing this up. Um, things that have to get done, uh, because people, and, and I, tend to, I, I tend to procrastinate, I'm, I'm horrible at it. But the, of all the things that you need to get done, um, is done in that final 20%. So 80% of what you have to do gets done in that final 20% time that you have remaining. So basically that means people wait until the last minute to get everything done. And it equated that into how people say that, oh, I'll get to this goal someday. People don't write their goals down. Um, uh, many people don't write their goals down. And those who do, many don't write down a time frame. You have to put a date. And I, I, Right, I've been writing my goals down for a couple of years now, but I've never really put like a realistic date next to them. So I just spent the last half hour kind of going through my goals, both short term and long term, and I went ahead and set some some dates to it. So that's one thing I've, I've been talking about, and I tell people about is is you know make sure that you uh, that you write your goals down, and then make sure you have an attainable date and that's going to hold you accountable to your goals you're the only one that can hold yourself accountable to your goals but if you don't set a specific date to backwards plan the steps that you need to accomplish that goal you're you know you're, you're not going to get anywhere because there's always going to be something that's going to come up there's always going to be something that's going to detract you from that and it's always going to be a goal that's out there that you just haven't quite reached yet so set a date for your goal Yes, things may, may, may get in your way that's going to derail you from your goal or set you back, but just adjust that date accordingly, but always move forward toward your goal. So that was pretty profound to me. Like I said, I just spent some time um, updating my goal sheet and um, adding dates to it. So hopefully that was helpful. Like I said, The Slight Edge is a fantastic book. I highly encourage you to read it. You should be reading 10 pages a day. 10 pages a day will change your life. See you guys.